The Singapore Civil Defence Force is using cutting-edge technology such as virtual reality to improve firefighting training. It has put on trial two such systems to give trainees a realistic experience in a safe environment. They were jointly developed with the Home Team Science and Technology Agency and NUS. Alif Amsha has more. If this car is on fire and quick decisive action is needed, there could be people trapped inside. How they dealt with the situation? Not with the tools you'd expect, but a virtual reality headset and this multi-sensory suit, touted to be the first of its kind in the world. All part of an extended reality system being trialled to improve training realism at the SCDF. I tried it out. Well, now that I have my multi-sensory suit and VR headset on, I'm all set. Viewers at home, you can also see my point of view at the top corner of your screen. So for this operation, the first thing I'm doing is to pick up my mock-up tool, which weighs about 15 kilograms. So that's not too far off from the actual hydraulic spreader being used in real-life operations. I'm also being prompted to walk in this direction. Haptic feedback or sensations are produced to make it feel like I'm operating the actual equipment, with the smell, sounds and even the heat injected for added realism. This added realism will supplement assistant theory and practical training sessions, providing our trainees with the opportunity to practice and refine their techniques and skills in a safe environment. This virtual reality system brings basic firefighting training to another level through simulations like this. This team of three is about to fight a fire in an HDB flat. The neat thing about uh, the VR firefighting system is that um, it comes with a scenario editor as well. So it empowers the instructor to be able to uh, look at the actions of the trainees, and whether they um, uh, directed the hose at uh, weak structural spots uh, in the building, for example. So um, there are a lot of these uh, minute details that can be captured uh, in, the, in the VR environment. Up to 16 trainees can take part at any one time, useful for large-scale simulations like a factory fire. More training scenarios covering different environments are being planned, all with the aim of getting trainees better prepared for real-life emergencies.